Hey guys, this is a quick video explaining how you can set up your own server so that you can practice your smoke grenades. So the first thing you want to do is go to options, game settings, and then enable developer console and make sure it's set to yes. If that's the case, go back, go to play, offline with bots, competitive, select the map that you want to practice your grenades on. So for me, I want to play on DOS2, hit go, and then make sure no bots is selected and then hit go again, and that will load up the map. Alternatively, you can hit the console key, which is just below the escape key, and type in map space de underscore dust2, and that will load up the map. So, I've been playing with dust2 quite a lot, and it's only recently that I've realized that I don't actually know any retake smokes. So I was like, how do I practice smokes in this game? Because I've never actually done it before. So I did a bit of research, and I learned the basic commands that you need to be able to do this. So I thought I'd share it with you guys so you don't have to waste your time looking. So yeah, the first thing you do when you enter the map is hit the console key and type in SV underscore cheats space one. And this basically enables all cheat commands on this server. And then the next command we're gonna do is do MP underscore round time underscore diffuse space 60 and what this does is it basically changes the round time to one hour which is the maximum value if i'm not mistaken and then we want to type in mp underscore freeze time space zero so whenever you start a round there is no time where you're standing still so you'll start moving immediately which is good and then we'll type in mp underscore restart game space one and that just restarts the round. And as you can see, I move immediately. And if you look at the timer at the bottom of the screen, it's set to one hour. The next thing we need is infinite ammo. So this is where the command for SV cheats comes into play. So we type in SV underscore infinite underscore ammo space one. And that just gives us infinite ammo. So as you can see, I'm firing my gun and no bullets are being depleted. And now we need a smoke grenade, obviously, because we're practicing how to throw a smoke grenade. So give weapon space or oh, sorry underscore smoke grenade and that will give us a smoke grenade so if i throw it you can see i've got infinite number of smoke grenades yeah so if you didn't use the first command which was sv underscore cheats one you wouldn't be able to have infinite ammo and you wouldn't be able to fly through the walls like i am now so this is actually a useful command um it's called no clip and it allows you to move through walls and move very quickly. Um, to activate this, you'll go to your console and type in no clip. And to deactivate it, you'll have to do the same thing, but that's not efficient. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bind it to a button, which will allow us to press a single button to activate and deactivate, instead of having to open the console key and typing it in again and pressing it to deactivate, if that makes sense. So hit the console key, type in bind space, caps lock and then the command for no clip which is no clip and press enter so now every time we press caps lock we'll be able to go through walls and move really quickly around the map and if you press it again it's just back to normal I won't be able to go through walls or anything like that so yeah so that's basically the bare minimum of what you need to be able to practice your grenades. Ah, oh, I forgot one command. If you want to be able to see the path that the grenade takes, the trajectory, there's a command for that. So you can type in SV underscore grenade underscore trajectory space one, and that'll activate it. And if you follow the same command and type in zero, it'll deactivate it. Yeah, so that's the bare minimum you need to be able to practice your smoke grenades. And, um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, every time you go into a new map, you'll have to type in the commands again. But, lucky for you, I have created a config file which allows you to type in one command, which enables all of the commands that I've typed in so far. Okay, so what you'll see in the description of my video is a notepad document which you can download. And within that notepad document, you'll see the list of commands that we used in the video. So what you'll what you won't recognize is this command so this one basically just says whenever you press up arrow give me a smoke grenade so that's all it does that's that's it and um the rest of the commands should be familiar to you as we've discussed it in the video and now i'm going to show you where to put the actual notepad document okay so the next step is to open up steam 
go to your library, go to Counter-Strike Go, right click it, hit properties, go to local files, go to browse local files, go to CSGO, go to CFG, and then just put in the notepad document anywhere in here. So as you can see, here's my one smoke. And that's that. Um, I'll show you what it looks like once you enter the game and what you need to type in to activate it. So, yeah. So as you can see, I'm on a new map. I don't have the one hour time limit. I'm stuck in freeze time. I don't have infinite ammo. So now to actually launch the executable that we put into the CFG folder, we press the console key, type in EXEC, and then smoke. And that's because that's the name of the document that we put in. You hit enter and it will execute all of the commands that we put in. So that new command that you saw, which was the up arrow key, you press it, and I got myself a smoke grenade. As you can see, the trajectories are enabled. I have infinite ammo, infinite grenades. If I press caps lock, I can uh, fly through the walls. If I press it again, it's back to normal. So yeah, um, you just need to set it up once, and then once you've done it the first time, you don't have to ever do it again. Um, if you want to improve on the actual CFG file, you can edit it and add more stuff like bind another button to give yourself flashbangs or molotovs, you can give yourself an AK-47. There's uh, plenty of commands out there. Um, you can just literally search through them if you want them, or if you can just ask me in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything I can do to improve, just let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video and it helped you. And yeah, see you in the next one.